Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I'm Mike Reynolds. I'm here with Bill Collins over at Bill Collins Collector Ford. He's got a fantastic GT500. How are you doing today, Bill? Very well. Good cool. To see you, what a cool car, man. Oh, this is one beast of a shell. It really, <laughs> really is. is gorgeous. We had it run in here just for a minute and it attracted a crowd of about 50 people. <laughs> yep. The cameras were flying and everybody was crowded around. Yeah, Great pretty car. cool. So tell us a little bit about it. Well, this is a genuine Shelby GT500. Okay. It is serial number 1266, listed in the Shelby registry, and was redone uh, about oh, 10 or 12 years ago by Signature Auto Classics to the specifications of a customer who really wanted a car so they could drive hard. Yeah. But they like the look of the original car, so it's sort of an Eleanor in disguise. Yeah, yeah. We have a 427 FE side oiler. Okay. Stroke down to 455 cubic inches. <laughs> wow. And with Edelbrock aluminum heads. Okay. Edelbrock four barrel carburation. I think you got dual quads on there, right? Dual quads, yes. Yeah. And uh, the durability department, uh, we have dry sump 20 quart capacity oiling system. Okay. Uh, the transmission's a five speed, the fifth gear overdrive. It's a Tremic? It's a. Uh, no, it's not a Tremec. I think it's a... I have to look it up. Okay. Uh, the name of it escapes me at some moment. All right. Um, but you need that to uh, handle the 411 rear. Wow. That's in a, so you can have it both ways. That so is fantastic. The, uh, there's a fuel cell with dual electric pumps. Okay. The rear with four-wheel disc brakes to haul it down from speed. Keep things safe. And uh, the car is finished in Wimbledon white with... Uh, Vista blue stripes, actually not Acapulco blue like you normally see. The customer preferred the, the Vista blue. I like the Vista, it really sets it off. Factory style Magstar wheels, original black interior with uh, all the correct Shelby uh, accoutrements. This is a wood steering wheel, the under dash gauges, the deluxe interior, the aluminum interior trim. Uh, for as powerful a car, it is. Yeah. It is extremely well mannered on the road. Really? Uh, we've driven it quite a bit. We drove it here too, right? We drove it over from our shop. It's about a 20 mile ride to each way. Cool. And it's great fun. It is gorgeous. Jeez. You know, if I was to build it, this is exactly how I would do it. It's the classic Shelby color combination. And everyone likes that. We have the center grill lights, which are always a favorite for people in the 60s, 70s. And the Magstar reels, wheels really set off the look, I think. It does. Get the, the harness belts. Yep, the roll bar with the inertia harness correct the belts in it. And a lot of my belts with the Cobra logos. Yeah, just fantastic. Jeez. Let's check out the interior. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. What do you think, buddy? Pretty cool. Yep. Got the classic steering wheel, the wood wheel, three spoke design, Cobra seat belts. Interior looks very original, right, though? Yes. This was a fairly nice car before it was redone in its present configuration. Uh, she's showing 43,483 miles. Beautiful, beautiful interior. So it's a little bit of a resto mod. Yep. It's rather a resto mod in disguise. I think if you walked around it casually, the only thing that gives it away is the shifter. Yeah, with the five speed, only if you looked at it like that. It is fantastic. Check out under the hood. All right. As I said, we have an FE side oiler 427 block, and the Brock aluminum heads, and Brock intake and carburetors. Mm -hmm. Headers, of course, aluminum radiator to keep things cool. Electric fan. And electric fan, helping that. 20 quart capacity reservoir. 
try some. Uh, these cars have very shallow oil pans, so historically they've always had trouble with oiling in the big block. Yeah. The 67 cars. And solved that issue. I would say so. That's a monster. Remote filter, adapter. Steer, uh, power steering and power brakes. Yep. Power disc brakes. Good road manners, easy to drive. Um, I like it a lot. I like the dual quad Webers too, jeez. Have an explosion proof bell housing, you know, with the high performance flywheel clutch pressure plate in there. You know. oh, it's fired and, up. Uh, we have, uh, I think, did I mention it's what? 455 inches. <laughs> and the it just <laughs> makes me smile when you say that. <laughs> and the dyno reports came in just a titch under 600 horsepower. At the wheel. Yes. Oh my god. It is fast. <laughs> And it I looks don't fast. Say that no, yeah. <laughs> it looks fast too. Very uh, high compression, and it's 11 to 1 compression. Now, of course, we did fully warm it up before we did that little little uh, rev up there. Yeah. Uh, Gosh, he sounds it wonderful. Sounds a bit uh, struggling when you start it because of the compression. Yeah. But it has a, a Optima battery in it that always gets the job done. It's a gel battery, guys. Yeah. I think I would throw the radio right out the window. <laughs> well, I, I would say so too. Yeah. <laughs> Roll the windows down and get the stereo from the, the exhaust. <laughs> exactly. Up. Absolutely fantastic. Well, guys, thanks for joining us today. Again, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Uh, feel free to give us a call. We're at 631 339 0399. You can also check out more pictures, information, and detail on our main website. That's WeBeAutos.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.